Selamat datang. Welcome to Malaysia for DSA 2018, the trade service defense exhibition currently held in Kuala Lumpur. We start today's video report with an exclusive interview with the Chief of Royal Malaysian Navy on his 15 to 5 transformation plan. Well, uh, thank you very much. Uh, the last time we, we spoke about 15 to 5, uh, we are very, very excited and very encouraged about the progress. Uh, it was initially was based on very much conceptual transformation program for the Navy. Uh, it has now been transformed from a fleet transformation program to a Navy-wide transformation program. And uh, we are very fortunate that uh, uh, we have now this concept and also a program has been endorsed by the government. We are now looking at uh, implementing the, uh, the program. And this program does not only look into replacing the aging fleet, it also looks at the uh, the transformation program overall, which includes uh, human capital uh, and the aspect of all the, our human resource and uh, uh, transformation also uh, as well on the logistics management and support management. So overall uh, we believe that uh, the uh, transformation program 15 to 5 will uh, provide uh, national dividends. In this regard to what I mean by national dividends is uh, based on the national investment for the 15 to 5. Uh, we provide security dividends, social dividends, as well as uh, economic dividends. All these three comes together. Uh, we, uh, we, we would like to condone that as a uh, national dividend. The Royal Malaysian Navy booth at DSA 2018 features the five future classes of ships for the fleet. Those five ships are the Scorpion class submarine, the Keda class patrol vessel, the littoral mission ship or LMS and of course the littoral combat ship frigate of going type. There are also three scale models of the future multiple support ship or armor RSS designs. The first one is an LHD from China. The second one is an LPD design from Turkey's Istanbul shipyard featuring a nice inverted bow. And the last one is the MRSS from Indonesian company Pitipal. We learned during the show that there are actually nine designs competing for the MRSS program. Two from Indonesia, one from France, one from the Netherlands, one from Turkey, one from Malaysia, two from China and one from South Korea. The design from France is the Mistral 170 by Naval Group. The Dutch design is the Enforcer 10,000 by Diamond. Well, the big announcement today was that the NSM has been selected for the Royal Malaysian Navy and we are now in the delivery phase of NSM. So we look forward to perform in this uh, important contract and, uh, and also the collaboration we will have with the Royal Malaysian Navy. Well, first of all, this is the only fifth generation missile. It has a strike capacity. It's uh, the most modern uh, missile in the world and it has a long-range strike precision. Let's get an update on the ongoing programs of the Royal Malaysian Navy with Bowstead, such as the LCS Littoral Combat Ship Program and the LMS Littoral Mission Ship Program. The program is uh, progressing as uh, per plan at the moment. We have launched uh, the first ship uh, in August last year, 2017. And the second ship also well uh, to be launched uh, as planned uh, by end of the year. And we have also uh, 
lay the keel for the third ship and uh, the fourth ship is planned also to be laid uh, for the keel uh, by end of the year. So we are making real progress on the ground uh, with respect to the construction of the ship and uh, we would like to respect uh, the contractual requirement in terms of deliveries uh, we respect uh, with our contract to the government of Malaysia for the uh, operationalization of the ship uh, to the Royal Malaysian Navy. Uh, that's pretty much it uh, on the progress. Yeah, we are showcasing this uh, second batch uh, petrol vessel uh, that opened for, you know, uh, to the market at the moment. We own the design, the basic design of the ship, uh, Mako 100 uh, design. But of course, the top side of it is uh, being uh, so-called uh, designed by our own team. So it's up for the offer. So our main uh, so-called um, commitment now is to provide the solution to the Royal Malaysian Navy uh, program. Uh, I think you have heard. It's already an open uh, source about the 15 to 5 program. So the second generation of petrol vessel is pretty much uh, in the program. So we are gearing up and uh, preparing ourselves uh, towards that, uh, providing a solution to the Romulus Navy. Well, uh, to be very frank, uh, the, the new design is very much uh, to be driven by cost. So that is a real uh, so-called driver that being uh, put forth by the Royal Malaysian Navy. So the uh, so-called the order of the day now is about fit for purpose. So we have to somehow design the ship in order to meet what is the so-called cost envelope that being uh, being indicated uh, to to us. So that's pretty much it. Uh, the the idea. Okay, as you see here, this is the final design for the 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 ships, which two going to be built in China, which scheduled to be completed by 2020. So the ships number three and four will be uh, constructed in Lumut Perak in Malaysia. So the two ships will be available uh, to be operational in the year of 2021. For this ship, it's mainly for patrols and surveillance for the uh, Royal Malaysian Navy and it has a feature of carrying a mission module. Mission can be from the countermeasure as well as the HADR uh, and any other form inclusive of the SAR, Search and Rescue Mission. Okay, as you see here, once we complete and hand over the four ship to the Navy, so we are more or less to propose to the Navy with a different uh, configuration, which have the heli helipad, the helicopter, and also the module will be underneath it, as well as the two uh, boats will be side launch. And also, if you notice here, is the funnel will be on top. So it will carry the same configuration, a mission control, uh, petrol, as well of other mission that should be carried out from the previous uh, variation. Uh, it's not yet selected, but this is the general ideas and concept for the future LMS. Uh, well, not really a full capabilities, but the only thing that may be enhanced here because we are to equip with helicopter, so a few equipment that uh, should be fitted with enhanced range on the, especially on the electronics uh, equipment. We are actually a joint venture company between BHIC and uh, Ball Force of Sweden. So, um, for this LCS project, what we are doing, we are doing the uh, installation, test and commissioning of the 57 Mark III Stealth Naval Gun on board of the, of the ships. The, uh, when you look at the gun, right, the first thing that you notice is the, the stealth characteristic of the gun. So, if you look at the gun, number one, you will see that the gun, you can hide the barrel. So when you hide the barrel, you can reduce the IR, infrared signature of the gun. And number two, you look at the shape of the gun. 
So it has all the faceted angle. It means that yeah, the radar cross section of the gun is very small. Like I said earlier, we are a joint venture company between BHIC and Bofors. So the main purpose for our, our establishment is number one is to provide true life support for Bofors gun in Malaysia and Asia, Asia Pacific region. Number two is to produce parts and components of Bofors gun in Malaysia. So this is our main business activity. Production and supply of parts and guns, parts and components, obsolescence management, comprehensive training and also total maintenance.